Hello friends, you are welcome once again to the SP3 part of this lesson of water tank fabrication. Alright, so in this lesson, we will be adding leather as well as a platform to the water stand. So let's start. So before we proceed, we will consider a point between this tension that is at green lines C1 and C3. Okay. So, because we consider this top of this foundation column to be the ground level, alright? So, quickly we will go to edit tab and then navigate to point. You select in the drop down, we pick on the line. And so, we have already established a center, the center of uh, this tension. So, we we'll pick this point at that center and return to this other side. We pick up this other point just like that to establish this one in between the stanchion. So, after which, we want to be placing a ladder that will start from level that will start from this level to the point level. All right, so quickly we deselect the command or right click and interrupt, click on OK. All right, then come to application and components and then type ladder so when you type ladder you will you will have uh, this ladder x35 click on it just like that and zoom closely to ensure that you pick the center point of this goose plate then you come down to pick the this point Alright, just like this to insert this ladder, just like this. So you can just rotate it to actually see the way the ladder looks, okay? Really, we are going to adjust this ladder, but by then, before then, we will first of all add a platform at this level, okay? So for us to do that platform, we will make sure we actually uh, zoom closely, just like that. Right click and interrupt. We need a platform of length, let's just say like 1200, a kind of a rest before continuation of the ladder. And so I want to pick points here so I can locate the center of this. Would that be easy to locate? Alright, so let me check this side. I can locate the center of this beam by picking this point and that point. After which I deselect and I will select this point. I will select this point. You will notice that uh, I want to offset from this point I created to some extent there. Maybe uh 150 okay 150 mm and this is going to the negative y direction so i'll just right click copy special linear the y direction negative 150 just like that and i'll click on copy so that is the point there so going towards the y direction i can also use negative uh, 1000. Alright, so let me just click on OK. Right click and radio and let I'll close that. Select this point now. Right click and I will be able to copy special again linear in this same direction. I will be having 1250. Now, this 1250 is going to be the uh, the width of the ladder. So I will be having negative sign. Since I'm going backward in the Y direction, click on copy. So if I click on copy, I'll be having this point here, which is good. Click on OK. Right click and interrupt. I will zoom closely to see these two points that I have created just like this. All right. So what I will be doing now is I want to offset this point. 
I want to upset this point in the z direction 1200 these two points so I'll just pick here hold the control key rotate it in such a way that I can see this point very well just like this holding down this control key pick that too so this time around is in the s direction away right click and then click on uh, copy linear just like this I will change the I'll clear this first and in the X direction I'll have 120 1200 sorry so I will click on copy to have this point there and there okay so after which I click on uh, okay so having this point here now it will be easy for us to just add beam and then proceed so I'll right click and interrupt this first and then I will go back to steel tab then select beam come to settings to check that in the setting dialog I am having universal beam so I will want to change the profile of the beam to a profile rectangular hollow profile just like this one and then I will be using uh, this the profile we are considering is 100 by 50 alright Consider 100 by 50 this one I click on that apply it and ok so now I want to connect this point to this solar point alright so I'll pick here and then I will connect it to this point to have that alright after which I want to change I want to change the position of this the depth of it is behind I want to bring it to the front no sorry bring it to the middle and modify so I can have something of this kind if you check very well you rotate it you notice that uh, this is model enough all right so after which I'll go back to beam again connect this point also to this point and then connect that point to this other point you will have something like this okay right click and interrupt so we are going to edit this select the beam once you select the beam you come to the uh you come to the at depth and then you take it to uh you take it to front sorry you have this middle okay and on plane you have it uh, right change this to left here we go you have something like that okay so after which you want to be placing more points all other point here uh, before then we will go to edit click on the point and then be able to pick this first that first point to locate the center of that all right do the same thing here pick this two point to have that center then select this Hold on the control key and then be able to select this one all right so now we want to be offsetting this this way which is the x uh, direction okay so just right click and then click on copy linear copy special linear then in the x direction we are going 50 just like that click on copy okay zoom closely so you see the points here so right click and interrupt Go to the steel tab, pick the beam, pick this point that you just offset it, and then pick this other point just to place that. Alright, after which select this, and then you come to at depth, take it to the uh, front. It's not front, take it to the, take it behind. So you have something like this. So since we are having a space between this these two points, you can right click and then use move. Pick this point. We don't want to have a space like that. Think that is model enough. All right. So we'll be offsetting this in this direction. Okay. So we we'll just click on this. Right click and then we click on the copy linear. The same direction. So we'll be moving fifty. 
Alright, so just one step, copy 50, alright, click on OK. So you have something like this, okay, 50 is almost bringing this together, alright. So what we need to do, we need to have a little gap, but by then, we want to deselect the command, change the profile, which is this profile, just like that. Select this, and then in the profile dialog, we should be able to scroll down to uh scroll down scroll down to plate profile we'll be considering plate profile okay so uh plate profile here yeah. this one click on it and then we'll be using a a plate of this kind but in this case we are going to consider the height of this plate to be uh, the height to be, let me just take it to be 100, okay, and that is the width, click on apply, it and okay, so if you click on modify, you have something like this, okay, so, after which we want to give a space between this one and this one, for us to do that, right click copy linear, copy special linear, and then in the x direction, where we want the space to be 50, and then click on copy, uh, 50, All right. No, no, no. Undo that. Right click again. Interrupt. Select the plate profile. Right click. Select it. Change the uh, class. So it will be different from the beam class. So how after which you just have to choose any of the classes there. Modify. Now right click and then click on to move. Move sp prof special. Then in the X direction, remove it at 50. Click on move just like that. Okay. Be selected or you select it again, right click again, and then you'll be having a you have to copy a special linear this time in the X direction. Space is 50 and then you'll be having about uh, let's say 10. Alright, then will be 520 and then we are 24 or just put 22 just like that. Click on copy and you have that. Okay. Okay, it right click and then click on interrupt. You can delete this one now. Check this one. Right click and delete this one. Just like that. Alright, so this is nice. So what we need to do now is, we want to weigh this to this, so what you just need to do, we come to application and component, come to this place and type weight. We'll be using this, pick this one and this one. To weigh it just like that. And then pick this and this. Okay. Do the same thing to this one and this one. You send it to this one and this one, that one. Alright. We also wait this one. This to this. Alright, after you finish that, right click and interrupt. So we want to be having this plate also in this opposite direction. So for us to do that uh, successfully, we'll be placing point between this this one, so I'll go to point, pick on point, I'll pick this first point, zoom closely, measure the point where this actually ends, from there to that point, yeah, that's good, I'll do the same thing here, on this one, I'll pick that, pick that place, I'll right click, Interrupt, pick, select that point, hold the control key, select this one, just like that, then right click, and I want to offset, or I want to move this point, uh, more special linear, in the y direction, so I'll clear this first, 
so i'll have it at 100 distance away from its original point click on move just like that uh all right uh change this to 50 let me see what happen and i'll move also okay i wanted to move it backwards so it's going to be minus 100 and i'll move it back okay click on okay apply that right click and click on redraw so i'll move these two points i'll go back to the t tab then be able to pick the beam up to settings that is my plate and i'll pick this point sorry pick the wrong point interrupt that pick beam again zoom closely so you can be able to see the point pick that point come to this side and pick this point so you have something of this kind all right so after which we are going to be populating this in this direction ready it towards this direction and that direction is the y direction negative y direction but by then we can also change the shape of this all right so just to select this one and then we will be able to right click once you right click uh once you right click uh, you can be able to distribute this all right before we populate this we will we want to trim this okay so if i select this one now and then can be able to pick all of these ones if you try to select all of this it will actually take some time to select them one by one After being selected like this, you can come to uh, settings. You change this uh, this line that is 100. You can change it to 50. All right, click on modify. You have that. Okay. So once you have that, you do the same thing to this one before we populate it. All right. You make that adjustment. It's very necessary. All right. So after which, the next thing I think will be doing which you are going to do later is what i'm going to show you because if you should start doing it with the text longer time all right so you come to application and components then wait you use this one you can be able to just click on that select this beam and then the plates to weld it together like that okay so you do the same thing this one click that and this to weld that okay come to this side Come to this side, we are supposed to wear this to that, but this one is supposed to exist here. The select, right click, and interrupt. Select this, right click, and then be able to move. Sorry, interrupt that, select it again, right click, copy this, pick at that edge, take it to the edge, and drop it. All right, so you have something, something of that kind. Okay, so after which, interrupt this. Now you can select this one, right click, and then click on copy. You pick this at this edge. You pick at this edge. And then you drop it here. Alright. So you'll be having something of this kind. Okay. So you can right click and then. Be able to copy it linear. In the Y direction. So you clear this. Come to the Y directions. I'll have it with space of 50. Just make it 24 then copy i think this is nice click on ok right click interrupt select this one right click and then you can delete it so you'll be having a, a platform of this kind just like this okay You can also use uh, come to edit tab then use this path cut to separate this and this one just like that you can see you do the same thing here you have something like this okay and also you select that command and make sure you use uh this extension weight to weight this to this so you have something like that that is really model just like that okay so make sure you do those ones on your own we will be placing the ladder in a way that uh, 
it will be facing this platform all right but before then we will have to insert the rail insert rail yeah along this uh platform so for us to insert that rail i've already gotten this point and that one we want to have a point here as well okay so you go to edit point click point online pick that first point and the second one to have it at the center of that beam you do the same thing here pick the first point and the second point to have that can i click and interrupt select this point we are moving this point to the center so to some extent here let's say we will be moving it 50 mm to that direction the direction is the minus x direction so what you need to do click on ok there right click and then click on move special linear you clear the content in the x direction you do minus 50 click on move so you have that which is very far so what you need to do is you can click here to undo it then change this to 25 minus 25 okay click on move to have that click on okay after you must have done that i will want us to place another point at this middle so you click on point on the line then pick that middle point take your cursor to this other side and place a point there all right i want us to click on this point right click and then click on offset or copy close this first right click copy this linear you click that and then in the x direction just type minus 200 to have that click on ok right click on interrupt now i want to replace it where right? so what we need to do is you come to this place and then you type where right? if you scroll down we want to be making use of this one andre this array this one so you click on it once you click on that you first select the beam you want the ray to to run along the top then pick the point to insert that ray just like that okay you do the same thing here you can select this beam and then click on this point to insert the ray just like that you rotate this this way and do the same thing here pick this point and then pick here to insert that ray that's good pick this beam then pick this point to insert so after you must have inserted this ray successfully like this just click double click and then click on withdraw to have something of this kind we want to be editing this ray so just click on this ray double click on it a dialog will show will come up in this dialog in this provision i will want you to put a spaces of 300 then click on modify to have some other struct in the system therefore here this point i want you to put 200 here click on modify you have a kind of undo like this all right apply that okay select this one do the same thing you double click at this point you have a 300 here yeah, 200 come modify you have something like that which which is what we actually expected you do the same thing here double click 300 spaces and 200 undo come modify 
apply it at OK. Can also do the same thing this place 300 and 200 modify. Alright, so after being successfully doing that, you can change this to zero or you reduce that so it will not cover that entrance. Click on modify to remove that. Okay, apply that. Okay, so you have having something like this. We want to reposition this uh, ladder. So you select the ladder, double click on it, and then we navigate to the part, this rotation parameters, and then you come to rotation. So it is facing this other side. We want it uh, to now be facing this side. So you select this one, click on modify. So you can see it's now facing the platform. Click on apply it and OK. You now need to adjust it this way. So for you to do that successfully, you just have to rotate it like this. You select the ladder. Once the ladder is selected like that, you can't just uh, right click and then you click on the move. All right. We are moving this to some extent. So it will be more closer to the landing. Okay. So you just pick a point. You pick a point along here. Then you can now type, let's say 300. Click on enter. This will move this ladder a little bit closer to this. So we are moving it again, maybe at 400 this time. You pick this first point to have a straight line you have 400 enter so if you check now you can see the ladder is now attached to the platform just like this but it is too inside as you can see so you can adjust it so the next thing we'll be looking at is to bring it out a little bit so we select that and you will right click and then select move pick the first point along this place move your cursor to this point make sure you have a straight line just like this and then you can just move it 200 away so once you do that you check it you can notice that this has been moved successfully so that is how you can adjust this ladder ladder to be able to fit in to the landing okay so we'll be placing another ladder that will connect from the landing to the top of the tank and so we'll come to this point and then type ladder you scroll down to this one ladder s35 the one we use you pick it then we are going to start from the top here so for us to be able to uh, pick this point here now, this part will be difficult for us to pick because, uh, okay, let us just activate this snaps so that we can be able to snap the edge of this. So let's just say we are picking from this, that point. I'll come down. You rotate it so you can see the point. All right. So that is the ladder. What we need to do now is, you can see the ladder is not up to that height because we picked it wrongly. So you just click on undo to undo that. You pick the ladder again and rotate it. In such a way that uh, you can see the exact point you, that you picked and so after which you select it that point and come all the way down here all the way down here so yeah yeah i pick that point then you zoom it out to look at the ladder okay now 
it's fine the ladder being selected double click on it again we go to the parameter in this parameter rotation now it is facing this side we want it to be facing the stand so we want to be using uh, this one so you click on that modify all right just like that so now we can see we have successfully placed this ladder and we have also successfully placed the uh, rest platform click on apply and close this so this will bring us to the end of the sp3 part of this water stand fabrication and design in the next sp4 we will be adding the platform to this water stand so you stay tuned if you are new to the channel subscribe hit on the bell notification icon each time i upload video you will get notified and stay tuned for more advanced lesson thanks for watching and once again bye